Welcome to Tech Wars. Today is November 19th, 2024. Today we're going to be diving into some juicy rumors about NVIDIA's upcoming GeForce RTX 5090. All right, so according to a recent leak, this next gen GPU might come with a hefty price tag of $1,900. Yes, $1,900. So let's break it down. So, what's the buzz all about? Well, a well known leaker has suggested that NVIDIA's flagship GeForce RTX 5090 could be priced at around $1,900. This is a significant jump from the RTX 4090 which launched at $1,599, so $1,600. But why such a high price? The RTX 5090 is expected to feature some serious upgrades, including GDDR7 memory and a whopping 32 gigabytes of VRAM. These enhancements are likely contributing to the higher cost. Plus, with AMD stepping back from the high-end GPU market, NVIDIA has more room to set premium prices. Yes, they have no competitors when it comes to the high GPU market. So they're going to do whatever they want. They're going to increase the prices. Because why? If people that want the high end GPU aren't going to find it from AMD, they're not going to find it from Intel, guess what? They're going to get it from NVIDIA. Now let's talk about what this means for gamers and tech enthusiasts. If the $1,100 price tag is accurate, the RTX 5090 will be one of the most expensive consumer GPUs ever. This could make it tough. Uh, this could make it a tough sell for many, but for those who want absolute best performance, it might be worth the investment. Of course, it's a remember that this is still a rumor. Nvidia hasn't officially confirmed the pricing yet, so take this information with a grain of salt. We'll have to wait for the official announcement, which is expected to happen at the beginning of 2025 at CES 2025, which I believe happens in the first week of the new year. So we have to wait till then. In the meantime, what are your thoughts on the potential $1,900 price tag for the RTX 5090? Do you think it's justified or is it too steep? Let me know in the comments below. So that's all for today's episode. If you enjoyed this video, Hit the like. Let me know what you think. I, like I previously said, I love to hear what people say, what people um, uh, have opinions on uh, things like this. Me personally, just in my opinion, I would never pay for a GPU over $300. Honestly, as a PC gamer myself, right, if I need a top end GPU, it would have to justify the, the the purchase would have to justify uh, like the reason for the purchase w would have to be justified. For example, what is the point of getting a fifty ninety? Let's say a fifty ninety or forty ninety. What is the point? Um, you want to push. Uh, you, you want the best performance. However, all the triple game, all the triple A games these days are horrible. They launched with uh, crazy unoptimized um, settings broken messes and then they finally end up getting fixed a year two two years later by then there's already new gpus released so what is the point of getting a as a pc gamer i'm not talking about if you need it for work or if you need it for school i'm talking about strictly for pleasure right just for fun you want a game what is the point of getting a high-end gpu or just a high-end cpu for gaming these days there's really no point Games are launched, they're a broken mess, they're really unoptimized, you have to wait months and years for them to get fixed so you can finally enjoy them the way they're meant to be. So honestly, I would never buy a GPU over $400, not even maybe th over $300. Stick to the mid-range. This is why I'm really excited for Intel Arc Battle Mage because I'm pretty sure they're going to be really affordable really budget friendly they're going to appeal to more people than the 5090 thank you guys for watching thank you guys for listening take care peace